to tell you the story that led us to this situation. We have to rewind to the first time Venus gave birth to a foal. It was in September 2021 when Venus had a red bag delivery. It was the first time we'd ever encountered it and we knew little about what to do. When we figured out that Venus had bad milk as well, it was too late to save her foal since he had gone too long without proper milk and medicine. So this time, when we knew this might occur again, we prepared ourselves, ordered the best milk replacement we could find and bottles for feeding in case of any problems again. We would check on Venus every day and evening from the 3rd of January, which was the date exactly 11 months after her impregnation by Rocky. We started to worry about the fall was aborted since she seemed to be late in laboring. But then on the 21st of January, during lunchtime, our neighbor called on us that she just saw a little foal standing up on his wobbly legs that made us able to help and assist on time. The first thing we did after looking at the fall was to check on Venus' teats for milk. And then we saw once again that her milk was bad all brownish yellowish liquid looking nothing like normal milk at all and when we saw the placenta we could confirm that it had been a red bag delivery yet again so we hurried up carried the little foal to his stall venus following as a loving and caring mother but due to her poisonous milk we had to separate the foal from the mother due to the reason that if the foal drinks her milk, he will not survive as it has no nutrients and it would be toxic for him. We quickly went up and prepared milk for the foal so he could get nutrients as quickly as possible into his system. As advised to us by our veterinarian friend, we used this milk formula, which we will supplement with dextrose. A quick Google search about the amount uh, the fall should receive was advised to give 250 to 300 uh, ml every one hour for the first six seven days and less frequent after week one <laughs> And here we are with this darling little foal trying to find the best position to feed. But after a few feedings, we finally found a good position and the little foal is feeding well every time. We named him Son of Arabi. So yeah, be sure to follow the story of how Arabi will be growing up and <laughs> how it is uh, with a foal that has been bottle fed since day one. This is our first time as well, so it will be interesting to see uh, how well he develops and um, how big he grows. Uh, hopefully we will manage to do a good job with uh, giving him the nutrients he needs uh, to become a big, strong and healthy horse. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed and uh, leave us a comment. Uh, mm -hmm. We do appreciate every comment. Um, yeah, let us know what you think and thank you for watching.